Hey, peepers. What do you want? I'll leave you to whatever it is you're doing over here. <laughs> Sorry. So, the question is, how do I get rid of him? If I... If I shoot him? Is that, is that okay? That would hardly be sporting. I don't care. That would hardly... Fine. Okay, well, I don't know. I thought that I had to do the cake, but that doesn't seem to be it. Maybe I have to get tomatoes and give them to the brother? I'm not exactly positive about that. I guess I can go see what else I can make in the cooking show. We're almost there. We're almost done. Yes? Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? You've got the length of one commercial break to explain yourselves. Remind uh, video game. Actually, we graced the cover of the current edition of the Alien Love Triangle Times. How's that for a scandal? My, your posture is terrible. Still, if you get a recording contract, I'll have you on the show. I'm so elated I can <laughs> almost block out the pain <laughs> I of can... such dismissive <laughs> scrutiny. We'll be right back. Take your time. <laughs> it's just like, I didn't need, I, I, I'm surprised. I never actually like stopped. I don't know. There is a mug there. Let's see. Welcome. Thank you. What are we making? Well, that's all we have. Goodbye, I don't. Hmm. Bucket of lard. That's enough lard to clog the arteries of a major metropolis. Or start a circus of grease squirrels. I rue the day you lost your NEA funding, Max. Okay, what I think, I, mean, I can try one thing. He mentioned tomatoes, so again, if they're triplets, technically if they're, Whee! I'm guessing he's allergic to tomatoes. So, oh, maybe we have to put tomatoes in the cake and then he gets sick and runs away. Oh, so give me that mug. Is that your mug? No, it was here when I got here, last week. Ew. Grab, grab, grab. Hey, peepers. What? I'll... Good luck. Grab the mug. That's quite the little sign. Okay, apparently not. Hi. Hi. Well, you got I have an idea. Let's get another cake. And then... Let's take it back and put topping on it, that's ketchup. And then bring it back and give it to him to eat. So basically, he won't vote for anyone else at all, but if we get him sick, or something, then we'll be okay, I guess? I guess that's the only thing we got going. Welcome. Thank you. What are we missing? And if Today you I'm pretty sure left that's a pot, Sam. Click, Max, right click, if you right click, to me it skips. And the eating a fist full of squid tentacles. Ooh, that's my favorite western. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And, through the magic of TV cooking show time, one gorgeous, delicious cake. Ready to be mm -hmm. binged upon mm -hmm. or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. Okay. Mm.
Go through the door. <laughs> I have to see what the next episode is. Because, yeah, I, I want to play more of this. And to be fair, the more recordings I have, the better. But I don't know if I want to record any more today after this. Or I might record something else. Dun, dun. Okay. All the way down. Let us go into Bosco's. Hello. Hello. Um, condiments. A little ketchup is always good on a cake. Yes, there we go. Okay. Good day, Bosco. Good day. Good day to you, sir. Very good day, I say. I say indeed. I do say. Okay. Well, goodbye. Where are we going, Sam? Uh, we are going to the TV studio. The TV studio. Goody! Man, their, their wheels in the back are very low. Myra, I love how they keep on changing the camera angle too there. It's not always just the same rinse and repeat. Um Another cake for you. Happy birthday. Oh boy! Birthday cake! That red frosty looks tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Boy, that was really. Oh, uh, uh, really? Uh, uh oh. Time out for number two! What the? Darn it! He'd better not be going to see Myra! Well, anyway, we can't wait. We'll just have to finish the show with only two judges. Whatever you guys agree on goes. Vote for me! <laughs> Time out Testing. for number two. One, two, three. Oh, it, Testing. it One, auto does two, it three. now. Ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Just like someone else's song, only somehow better. <clears throat> Howling at that trippy old hunk of moon. Thinking about the rings on the great raccoon. Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. And let's hear from our judges. Let's hear from Your our moron judges. Your pruning is far less offensive than Peeper's excruciating slaughterhouse squalor. Um, thanks. You really nailed that high note! Whoa! And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner! Yay! Now, congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. In Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do! Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we okay. still bathing? Uh, be sure to join us next time on Embarrassing Idol. Oh, oh, there, there's a notification. Steam has finished downloading. Who's your daddy? Playtest. I was thinking I might record that. That might come out soon. Playtest for the new version of Who's Your Daddy. I didn't see the first one, which I must have finished. I had Man of Medan and then Little Hope downloading. I have them both on Steam. Got Little Hope recently while it was on sale on Steam. And yeah, I'm installing it on here because this computer would be able to handle it more. And I can record it on here if I ever need to. Yeah. Anyway, time to go on to Myra's show. I'm just going to say that because it's probably going to pop up. Maybe the first one did pop yes. up and I just didn't see it. Oh, you two again. Well, what is it? Um. Of course. What if we have our video game? 
Hmm. We do have a recording contract. In Bottom Records. Take a look. You will have us on your show now, yes? Oh, I suppose so. If only because I have an upcoming bossy tirade prepared about the proliferation of talentless no-name recording artists. Yay! Naturally, I will expect you to be on your best behavior and agree with everything I say and answer every question I have and don't interrupt and keep your elbows off the table and use your indoor voice. What about... While you're on my show, you stay in your seats at all times. You do not interrupt me when I'm talking and you treat the audience with the utmost respect, even if you become less sure with each passing year that they deserve it. Now, I'll call you on stage in a minute. Oh, okay. gosh, Max. Thank Celebrity you. is just a never-ending set of arbitrary goals one accomplishes to appease a dismissive and distracted, if not entirely absent, authority figure. I guess I... I don't know if I agree, Sam, but I've begun my decadent slide into a depraved personal hell just in case. Okay, into the last section of this video, which this episode might actually be... This, this recording might actually be longer than the last one. We'll see. <laughs> everyone. Bessie Bovine reading from her new book, The Heart Has Four Stomachs, Ruminations on a Life in Hollywood, out now in all major bookstores. This microphone is starting to spark from overuse, but that doesn't mean we're ready to pack it in. We've got the stars of the not-quite-canceled sitcom Midtown Cowboys, who also happen to be the winner and judge of TV's Embarrassing Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam and Mac. Ooh. Hold a hayride, little pal. What is that? That bear seems more than slightly hinky, in the mesmeric sense of the term. Shadier than a fat man's ankles. Let's take it down like ducks in a gutter. Uh-oh. Hold it! My guests sit at that end! But that bear has got you... Sit! We'll just sit where you want us to, ma'am. Lovely. What gives, Sam? Why can't we just grab the bear? It would appear that the laws of physics are different on the set of a talk show, little buddy. We're gonna have to play along. Sam yeah. and Max, you talented, hot new celebrities who've taken the entertainment world by storm. So naturally, we all want to hear everything about your involvement in the scandal detailed in the Alien Love Triangle Times. I see. There's something you should know about that picture in the Times. I'm not sure I want to know anything more. Maybe you big Hollywood types thinks it's funny to flaunt your polyplanetary pickups, but the rest of us find alien love triangles, frankly, disgusting. But the photo is not quite what it seems. How so? Huh. It's not a picture of an alien at all. That's Hugh Bliss. Hugh Bliss? The highly respected founder of prismatology? Don't be ridiculous. Why, I've had him on my show before, and he certainly isn't green. What are you really hiding? Oh boy, oh boy. Thank you. How much I'm scared of being buffeted by another gust of Hurricane Myra? Flattery will get you nowhere, mister. I don't know about you, audience, but as a girl, I was taught that flattery was the worst possible way to blah blah blah, yak yak yak. To blah blah blah, 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 blah yak, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yakety, May I have a drink of water? Are you the host of this talk show? No. Then, no. Blah, 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 blah yeah. yak. Can't we sit over there? You'll sit where you are and like it, mister. Yes, ma'am. Blah, 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 yak, 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 blah, 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 blah. No thanks. She appears to have plenty to say already. I'm not touching that thing. I'd probably get shot. Testing. One, two, three. I'm not touching that thing. Yak 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 yak. Bloody 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 bloody. Yak 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 Testing. One, two, three. Blah, 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 blah. Yak, yak, Hold on. Yak, I, yak, blah, I think blah, we're supposed blah, to break yak, the water yak, glass. Testing. One, two, three. No. Oh. <laughs> ah, yes. Where were we? I think we were discussing the alien love triangle times and that nasty, scandalous affair of yours. I'd like to sing, if I may. 
Is that wise? Howling at that trippy old hunk of moon. Whoa! Careful there, tiger. That was wonderful. I'm so moved I almost don't have a long hectoring screed in me. Oh no, wait! There it is! Thank goodness! Self-referential songwriting is a dangerously blah 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 yak 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 yak. Blah 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 yak 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 yak. Blah 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 yak 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 blah 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 yak 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 blah 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 yak 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 I'd like to talk about that charming yet mildly insidious looking bear on your desk. Can I see it? I don't know, Sam. Can you? <laughs> may I see it, please? No, you may not. And if I may say so, if there's one thing that grills my chicken, it's how our culture is in a state of modal decay. Can is not the same as may. Should is not the same as blah blah blah. Yuck! Blah 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 blah. Blue blue Hopefully blue. she'll be off blue, on blue, her blue, tri-state nagging <laughs> spree for a while. Humanity's not safe while that mysterious little hypno bear is on. Are we part of humanity, Sam? Not technically, but we're in danger too. I'm wise in front of a live studio audience. No dice. Ah, yes. Um... I'd rather talk about our smash hit sitcom, Midtown Cowboys. Okay, let's talk. You two have become the new breakout stars of a flaccid, dissolute sitcom in its final days. How wonderful for you. Thanks, we brought a clip. You certainly did. I had a chance to watch it, and I refused to show it to my audience. <laughs> It has a shocking joke involving a cow pie. It's a sad commentary on today's culture when the cow pie, once a staple of the American diet, blah 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 yak 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 yak. I see why blah, my role blah, blah, big stars blah, on the show. Yakety, 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 it doesn't tell the whole story. There's someone else involved. Someone the picture doesn't show. Oh boy. How shocking. Who? Bessie Bovine, our co-star on Midtown Cowboys. Oh my! Audience! Hey! Uh, At the risk nice. of making the obvious comment, that was shocking! Is she breathing? A little. But the creepy teddy bear is toast. Nuts! I wanted to ask it a few questions, and maybe use it to hypnotize Katie Couric. Another glorious dream bangs its chin on the dirty pavement. Oh, it... On the bright side, the audience is free to go home. Oh, I was just getting warmed up. Do you think Myra will have us back on the show again soon? Um, speaking of unlikely, did you notice we just had two cases in a row involving hypnotic mind control? Yeah, that Complete is a bit weird. coincidence? Yes, I think so. The cogs of the universe synchronize in ways we're not meant to see. Speaking of things we're not meant to see, there's a new restaurant at the zoo where you can eat what they feed the animals. I love Empty you. popcorn cartons and Myra cigarette butts. From and processed bread logs loaded mafia. with tranquilizers love and antidepressants. Bread logs make me logie. To Let's Myra, head back to the cooking show mafia, set and yeah. see if we can figure out how to make fried pork rinds. I see. Okay, but I get the feet! Oh. Achievement unlocked. Reality star. And there it is. So that is episode number two, Situation Comedy. So yeah, I like... That's not a bad one. The next one I haven't played in a while, but it involves the Toy Mafia, I believe. I mean, that makes sense, because, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, so this was created with the Telltale 2, so this just must be the latest version of the Telltale 2 that they have. Which I'm so glad it's being used to make some games, at least. Because uh, I know that, starting with Wolf Among Us 2, they're going to be using Unity or Unreal or one of the other things to make their games, which is fine. But I wish that they'd still use the Telltale 2. Because the Delta 2 could always run on PC, to a certain extent at least. Okay, so there is the end of Episode 2. Situation, comedy. So, we're going to go to Episode 3 next time. The Mole, the Mob, and the Meatball. The Commissioner is looking into an underground operation at Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playground and Casino, but the Mole he sent in has suddenly gone quiet. To find the Mole, Sam and Max must infiltrate the operation and become members of the Toy Mafia themselves okay and give me just one second before I end this okay so uh, unfortunately that is gonna be the end of this video but I, I like that well I, I didn't mind it too much um, that was an okay episode out of the first two I think the first one's still a little bit better just because I think it had, it had more involvement. We spent a lot of time at the uh, TV station this time before you got to explore the the town and whatnot. I guess you could say. Um, and just I think like everyone as it gets further and further along, we're spending less time at that place just because we spent a whole episode there. Like this next one, we're probably spending most of our time, you know, at the, mo the this mafia based place. But anyway. So that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.